Hello everybody, my name is Tamilola Mike Pamiloye and I'm here to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can receive notifications and updates on new movies that will be dropping from time to time. So if you subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing and if you're not, please subscribe. Hold on for a moment. Dear viewers, to enjoy this movie with the captions or subtitles, kindly click on the CC icon above the video to activate it. God bless you. Stop your ranting and get out of here. Look, I am his father and I will deal with him the way I like. Did you hear what your son said? Your son lied to the teacher. He told the teacher that I said that you stop attending a fellowship. That's what your son said. And the man was confused. It was when he came home and asked me that he got to know the truth. Now tell me, is that a mistake or a lie? Eh? Is it a mistake or a lie? But well, that is too much. But the guy don't want you all to kill him. Now, listen to me. I won't leave you alone until you tell me what you told the teacher and where you go on fellowship days. Brother, brother, today, brother, today is to take us to the next school to watch match football match. Uh, shut, shut, shut up. Hey. Ah, it takes you to watch football matches. Yes. Ah, that's good. It's beautiful now. So you enjoy the matches, Abby? It's very interesting. But today we know it to final score. You didn't say the final score? Okay. So, no, so that's where it takes you every fellowship time, yes. Abby. Can you see yourself? Can you see yourself? Was that what you told me? Did you hear what he said? Mommy, today? Now, when we discussed, what did you tell me? You told me that your son, your, your, your friend was sick and that he was running temperature. Was that what you told uh, me? Yes, I, 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 I was running temperature. I, I, told, I told mommy. I told you are lying again, Abby. No, no, no. I'm not, you are lying to me I, again. No, I'm Look, not lying. Look, the teacher Shut told up. me that it has been a long time since uh, Tunde attended the uh, fellowship. And he told me that all his younger ones too have stopped attending fellowship. That it's only Deolu that refused to join them. Uh, look, Tunde, you are not working right. And you are, you are not setting good examples for your younger ones. Eh? But why? I read the Bible to you on a daily basis and I pray with you. Why are you behaving like this? You this student. I want you to know that God hates liars. Dad, I'm sorry. God hates okay, liars. Sorry. Sorry. You better repent. You better repent and change your ways. Eh? You better repent. So that God will forgive you. Nonsense. My dear. Go on back, sister. Thank you. My dear. Go away. Nonsense. So right here, nothing. So right here. Ratunde, sorry about the discipline. Ratunde, see, the teacher has been asking of you for some time now. He has been asking of your whereabouts, but I didn't know what to tell him. Why, why, did, why didn't you just keep your mouth shut? <laughs> What's his concern with my whereabouts? Is it, is it by force to attend fellowship? Is it compulsory? Ratunde, please don't tell lies again. 
it's not good for a child of God to be telling lies. Daddy was not happy with you, and I'm sure God is not happy either. Will you shut up your mouth? You went ahead to report me to teacher Abby. No, it's all no, right. never. It's all right. I didn't see anything. It's all right. You will see what I will do to you next time. I didn't see anything, no. <laughs> see, Brotunde, see, uh, I, I, I know it was very painful when Daddy was flogging you, but Jesus can help you. He can help us to be good children to our parents. But only give your life to Jesus. As in, for you, for you, genuinely. What's your problem now? Will you just shut up and leave me? And, and liars do not go to heaven, no. But hellfire. Useless boy. Uh, Deolu, you are welcome to my house. Thank you, sir. How are you doing? Very well, sir. Very good, very good. Yeah. That's it. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Thank you, sir. Good boy. Um, how are your studies? Very well, thank God, sir. Uh -huh. Very good. And how are you, too, sir? I'm good. Now, Deolu, what's going on? I mean, what is happening? Like what, sir? What happened, sir? You see, there is so much noise about you. Just everywhere. Your name is just everywhere. On the social media, on the television. Honestly, I concluded that it cannot be you, oh. huh? uh, because I just couldn't understand what is going on. It's me, sir. Oh? I'm the person. No, no, it's, it's not possible. I'm the one, sir. It's my name. <sighs> well, it can be you, truly. Yeah, but then it depends on you. It depends on if you are truly determined and you really want it, huh? Yes, sir. Right. Thank you, sir. Wish you well. Thank you, sir. Bless you. Thank you, sir. Sir, you are here to say anything. Did you pray about the dream? I didn't even bother to pray about it because I don't understand. Oh, that is exactly why you need to pray. Now, why are you here? To tell you about the dream, perhaps you could tell me what it means. I didn't show you the dream. God did. You are expected to ask him for the interpretation before coming to me or going to any man for that matter. Deolu, huh? Okay, sir. Sir, can you pray for me and, and ask God for the meaning of my dream? Deolu, I keep telling you, you are no longer a small boy. Huh? Very soon you'll be in the final year. Very soon you'll be writing uh, the UTME by jam. And you'll be in the university. You see? I know you love the Lord, and the Lord can choose to begin to reveal His mind to you through various means, including uh, dreams like the one you just had. So, I, are you saying that God is speaking to me through that dream? Oh, sure, sure. Just like uh, He did to Joseph. You know, He spoke to him through a dream in the Bible. Remember? Hmm. So, so, so I'm like Joseph because he didn't know the meaning of his dream too, so he told his father and his brethren. <laughs> they would, his brethren, who later sold him because he was a dreamer. Eh? You see, this is why you need to ask God for the meaning of a dream like this. Is that okay? <laughs> I, I, I think I understand now. Very good. Very good, very good. That's okay, that's okay. Right, let me pray with you. Father, we thank you so very much for Deolu and thank you for speaking to him even through a dream like this. I pray, Lord, you will show him the interpretation thereof Amen. so that he will not go off track. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. So, where were you when you were talking? I was in dad's room sweeping when I heard Deolu calling daddy. Daddy? Daddy? Yes, Deolu? Daddy? Daddy was, was like, 
Deolu, what is it? And uh, Deolu said, I had a dream. And what was your daddy's response? Uh, he went, he went quiet. I saw myself in front of a large number of people. They were interviewing me, different press people. They were telling me I was going to travel to the US and I was going to Germany, to Australia, to Japan. My schedule was listed. I could not just imagine myself. I had PAs that were taking my schedules. I had interviews to meet. Yes. But he said, make sure you tell no one. Oh. Let me pray for you. Really? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Father, in Jesus' name. You don't know why. Enter Nobody can replace you. In this house, you are the head. Okay? Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am, she really go and play. It's not possible. I you or my bimbola. You can never be dead. You will not be known all over the world. My own son will be known all over the world. Benny, a lot of language. That dream will never come to pass. Yes, that dream will never come to pass. I've already told you to prepare for work the moment your husband married that lady. That's her intention. She wants to take over the house for her son. Ah, mama. But that was why we prevented her from getting pregnant for a long time. But she suddenly became pregnant. Ah, ah, and and I, I, I could not understand what happened. What happened, mama? What happened to all those charm and uh, everything we did? I don't understand either. Maybe the God just pitied her. But it doesn't change anything. You have three children. She has one. You own the house. Yes. Your son is the firstborn. Oh. So, no problem. But, Mama, mm -hmm. everything you collected from the Habalis, that you gave me to use on the mother and the child mm. did not work, especially that child. I, I can't understand. That is why you must not be tired until you get rid of them. Imagine the dream you told me he didn't. It's not ordinary. So they had him when the boy was narrating the dream to the father. Then you have to go back to the man and narrate everything to him. Huh. I'm not tired. Mm -hmm. I'm not you must tired, not. Mama. I will try and I, I will see them. Uh. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mama. Bro, oh. thank you. Hi, do we are any? Mr. Ishola, what's happening in your family? Uh, you've not been coming to church with your first wife, uh, except Mommy Deolu. You see, God is interested in the salvation of every human, including your first wife. Hmm. I have tried severally to convince her, but she refused. Mm -hmm. I even went a step further to ask her mommy Deulu to talk to her. She didn't budge at all. I'm tired. I don't know what else to do. Please, you have to help me. How? Uh, preach to her. Or you may even give her a special invitation to come to church. You know, you preached to me and you invited me to church. And uh, I told both of them. But uh, while uh, mommy Deulu accepted, Mommy Tunde refused. You see, a negative attitude to the gospel is affecting Tunde. I'm the one forcing him to come to church. He doesn't have any interest in spiritual things at all. Uh, look, look, don't worry. You see, the moment you received Jesus into your life, you equally received his power. You received his grace. You received everything that uh, makes for a Christian to stand. So all you need to do is to keep praying for her, and then you intensify your family altar. 
especially your night uh, family devotion time. This has a way of encouraging her too. Hmm? Oh, thank you. I'm grateful. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. And um, Mr. Ishala, you see, Tunde didn't do well again in the last UTME. The result isn't good at all. And uh, I think he needs to sit for this examination again. And if need be, you may need to get some teachers to assist him, you know, to coach him and bring him up. Hmm. I don't understand that boy at all. All his younger siblings are leaving him behind. I don't think that boy is gifted academically. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Don't be discouraged. Eh? Like you, you keep trying. Let's keep praying. I'm sure it'll turn out well. Hmm? Okay. It's okay. Thank you. I'm grateful. My dear, you are not eating. Why? Your food is already cold. Why? What happened? What are you thinking about? I'm not so happy. Why? What happened? I am thinking about something. What is it? Talk to me. My brother called. Mm. His office is sending him on an official training abroad for one year. That's good. So where are they sending him to? South Africa. Mm. He will not be able to go with his wife now. Mm. So he's requesting that we should release one of the boys mm. to help his wife and to keep them company. Oh, that's good. Any of the boys can. Mm. Soon they can go. In fact, he'll be a big brother to those children. Mm. You see? That is where the issue is. He specifically requested for Deolu. Though I tried convincing him to go with Tunde. Deolu? Why Deolu? But why can't Tunde go? Why? Abimbola me, eh? <laughs> Please, release Deolu for me now. But why Deolu? He's the only child I have. I can't. <laughs> Please, I can't. Hmm. That's okay. Uh, don't worry. I will call my brother and explain to him. I am sure he will understand. Hmm? Seriously, I can't. I'm so sorry. That's okay, my dear. I understand. It's okay. Eh? It's okay. Thank you. Hmm. This is your food now. Hmm. Hmm. Let him go. No, he's still young. He's still young. He's still young. He's my only child, Lord. He's my only child. You have to understand. He's my only child. <laughs> I did for him. Okay. Um, what is this dream about? It was like God saying that it's time for Diolu to move on. Uh, uh, look, my dear, I hope you are not referring to the discussion we had yesterday. Please, I'm not forcing you. Eh? I'm not at all. My dear. Try to understand. The Lord made it clear to me that the matter is from Him. I love you. 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 Abimbola, why can't you let this child move on? He's still very young. Still very young, my lord. 
I can't let him go now. He needs me. He needs me to protect him. Hmm. Have you forgotten the battle I fought during his delivery? You almost lost him. How can I forget that? It was a miracle. They almost pronounced him dead. Something happened that night in the hospital that even the doctor couldn't explain. <laughs> My God is great. So you remember? They didn't want you to have this baby. But I stepped in. I took over from the doctor and the nurses. I revived him. I gave him life. Even when the strength of men failed. It was a great battle. Thank you, my lord. <sighs> Do you also remember when he came home with an apple? The enemy planted it for him. <sighs> Imagine if he ate it, he would have died. I restrained him. I stopped him from eating it. I'm his protector, not you. I'm forever grateful, my lord. Abimbola, it is time to let this boy move on. I will continue to protect him. He's my heritage. No, lord. He's still young. He's still very young. He's my only child. Can't let him go now. He's my only child. Lord, he needs me. Well, Abimbola, it's your choice. Will it be good if you obey me? You will not regret it. My word says, my people will never be ashamed. Look, it's not easy for me to. But I have this feeling that there is more to Deolu going over to stay with my brother's uh, wife. There's more to it than we know. Look, my dear. God owns this child. And he knows what he will do with his life. Mm. Let us allow God to have his way in his life. And I believe that his way will give us peace. But Tolu mm. is my only child. <sighs> He's the only child I have. God knows that too. He knows it. Look, my dear. Um, look at me. My dear, look at me. Look, I promise to be there for you. What gives me joy is the confirmation that God knows about everything that is happening. And it gives me much rest and peace. Look, my dear. Let us obey God. Please, pray for me. <laughs> Let's pray. Mm -hmm. Father, you gave the Ulu to us. And you know we love him so dearly. But there are so many things that are happening around us that we do not understand. Yes. But Father, we want to do your will. Give us the grace to do your will. Yes, Lord. And concerning my wife, Abimbola, yes. please give her the grace to do your will in this matter. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. My dear, it is well. It is well. It is well. It is well. Our teacher could not be around today due to an important meeting that he has with the principal. 
So we hope that you'll be regular from today. Lady, I'm glad you came as promised. And to all of us that has given our lives to Jesus Christ today, it is important that we remain steadfast. I pray, Lord, keep us and make us stand in Him in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Shall we share the grace? The grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord. the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Thank you guys for coming. Have a blessed weekend. Hi, lady. Hi. Thank you for coming. Hi. Emeka, Emeka. Pastor, Emeka. Pastor Deo. I hope you guys enjoyed the lecture today. That was a very powerful sermon. Thank God. <laughs> Sister Lady, finally. You came as promised. Why yeah. are you surprised now? I already told you that we are together, even though I've not been coming. But my heart has always been with you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. You know what? She shared her personal experience with me. And guess what, guys? Lady has dedicated her life to Jesus Christ. Wow. And she has promised to be serious henceforth. Mm. Wow. Uh -huh. Congratulations, Lady. Thank yeah, you. you're welcome to our midst. After a long promise. Yeah, we are glad that you came. We are glad that you know the Lord. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Diogo. You see, God makes everything beautiful. I can hear that. I can hear that. I can hear that. Are you ready to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Lady, I'll see you tomorrow, huh? All right, now wait. My driver is around. You guys can follow me. I'll drop you along the way. Oh, don't worry, Lady. We, we don't need to stress. We're already used to it. What is the stress? What is the stress, Pastor? She's not the one driving. Her driver is driving. All we have to do is enter into the car, and then we get to our regular junction. We get down from the car, and from there, we go to our various places. Hello, oh, Pastor, stress. Right. After you, ma'am. You guys can follow me. me. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Diolu will frustrate our plans if we let him know about all the things that we are doing. And sincerely, it will be a waste. But we still need him to perfect the plans. Yeah. I seriously need that money. And Lady can only listen to somebody like Deolu to give such amount of money. And Deolu shows no interest in her at all. I don't know what we can do to convince that guy to give that girl a chance. To think that that girl even loves him. That, that's, that's the thing that is paining me. Imagine, imagine. Like they been our friends, babe. Ah, guy! Money! E money! E money! See money! <laughs> Emeku's money! Charlie money! Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just need him to even repay the money yeah. that I gave him for the form and the textbook mm -hmm. when his uncle was not around. Yeah. That woman really suffered him, eh? Not that I even want to collect the money back, oh. but with Like they involved, it's with double double. Guy. If like this is no, involved. No, 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 don't use that statement though. Sincerely, don't use that statement in um, presence of Jolu. You know that Jolu is now convinced that like day is a born again. That's true. Now that we've allowed that, we've convinced her to come to fellowship. So, in sure of our salvation, like, like day is now a sister. That's true. What we are going to do now is that you talk to like day. You tell like day that Jolu wants to see her and she's going to follow you sheepishly. Ah, that sounds like a plan. Yeah. But, I got you. But Jolu has to be around. <laughs> See what the Lord has done. Reverend Father is here. Ah, income. Our pastor is here. Reverend Father, our pastor is here. Diolu, number one pastor of our school. My okay. guy. Where is Charles? Where is Charles going to? He's I coming, look at that Baba, you don't need to look at it like this small, small. Pastor, pastor. Our family will go chop. Chop, Baba. We are talking about you now before you came in. You've not taken that step. You step. Like this now. Like this is a step, my guy. See, this girl loves you. She loves you so much and, and you're looking so uninterested. It's not fair. Can't see the handwriting on the wall? Guy, like this is not an ordinary girl. Ah, she's a child of God. Don't you understand? And she is a blessing to you. And not just to you, to all of us. Especially for someone like you that you are going through a lot in the hands of your uncle's wife. Emeka, <laughs> I simply don't need to remember. Ah. God has not spoken yet. I've not received anything yet. Oga, okay. you're not the only one praying. We are also praying with you. Do you know how many guys are dying to have this girl in this school? Because she's from a wealthy home and she's, she's good. And besides, my guy, besides, 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 she's going to help us and help you too. Like, all this mess that you're going through would be over. Yes, I know it's a people that they want to miss. But see, at times, I still feel like we are young hey. and we should be patient to hear from God. It's very important now. We are not getting it. We are not talking about an unbeliever here. We are all Christians. 
besides she attends the fellowship now because we, we talked out into it we are not too young to have partners we just have to be sure that our partner is in christ and besides by next day we'll be in the university so what are you talking about now is the time to pray this thing yes, i know i i know you are right but i just feel like we we, we should not rush this girl just give her some time to pray and you know get convinced yeah yes you're now talking we have to be fast about it, my guy. You know how many guys in this school want this girl? A lot. But she is very much interested in you. She is God's provision to you now and for all of us. Think of all the years that you have been suffering. And now God is bringing this to you. S ah. Sincerely speaking, I so much appreciate what you guys did for me. Your silver giving when my uncle traveled really helped because that woman failed to help. That's it. But you guys tried for me. And I know that God will reward your labor of love. <laughs> Our uh, reward is now. Diolu, imagine like it becomes your babe. Guy, her name has come to your suffering. I mean, her name has come to her suffering. You know her what now? You know her what? He will be bowling in this school anyhow. Anyhow, we will be bowling. Don't you brighten your face now. What's wrong with you now? Diolu. Hey, Charles, have fun now. Like day, like day. Yeah. Hi, Diolu. Hi, like day, like day. Like day, like day. I was looking for you in the class. I wanted to receive the answer to my request. What requests? Aunt, in relation to my birthday party, have you forgotten so soon? Party? Eh, party? Well, not what you're thinking though. It's a party really, but more like a Thanksgiving party, or is there anything in that? No, 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 no. That's what we were talking about before you came, you know? Definitely, we'll be there. Exactly. And um, what he wanted to ask is the description to the venue, well, and now we're going to get the <laughs> address. Yeah, address us with the address. Wait, do you want to say something? I wanted to actually know more about about the venue oh. <laughs> at the event. Yeah. yeah. That's no problem. I'll mm -hmm. just send my driver to pick you guys. <laughs> just call me and then we we'll come and pick you. The driver. <laughs> Lady, yeah. you were not around for the fellowship on Friday. Uh -huh. I hope there is no problem. Don't you have any other thing to do or talk about than fellowship all the time? I mean, Diolu, you have preached to me, and I've given my life to Christ fully now. I'm ready to do anything that will make you happy. So. Can't you just make me happy by coming for my birthday party as your sister? Yeah. See, Lady, I will come. Sorry. Mm. We will come. Oh my God. Mm? Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that Deolutu will display the love of Christ by. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Deolutu, should I be expecting you? Yes. 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 Be expecting yes. us. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no problem. So, I'll just tell my driver. Your driver. Call me. We'll come and pick you. Ah. Your yes. driver. Bye. Ah. <laughs> You're saying I'm me. Ah, ah, guy. You're saying I'm me. money. Charlie <laughs> money. Amy Kuz money. Yeah, yeah, just the pastor. Pastor D. Where are you coming from? What did you say? You hurt me today. I said, where are you coming from? I don't expect you to see movie with this girl again. After giving you several warnings. Ha! Huh? And you, this girl, leave my son alone. What is your problem? Um, so today, what next? Are we not going in? Hey. Go, go, go where? I'm talking to you. <laughs> Abi, Emily, I'm Abi. So you don't know? Are you talking to me? Ah. I don't think you have home training. Hey, don't go there at all. Because if you send me back home, you will see my real color. Talk to your son. No. Why are you talking to me? Ah, who who is, why? Who is your mate? Sunday, did you just see what happened now? Are you not going to say anything? <laughs> babe, 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 come, babe. See you tomorrow. Babe! Please. Mommy, what sort of embarrassment Oreo. is this now? Oh, Badu, come here. You are not serious. Huh? You are seeing you for all this nonsense? Eh, what is your problem? What is your problem? Huh? You have no brain again. You are autism. You are seeing you Imagine what this girl just said to me now. Are you left now? Uh, you cost it. Hey, God, that mess. <laughs>
You always address my girls as if they don't have families. How can you talk to her like that and expect her to respect you? You need to start showing some respect around here if you want to be respected. Eh? Look, just look at look at how you spoke to her. What wrong now? It's not fair. I don't like it. Look, look now, see, she has... Babe! Today! Babe! Today! So, what do you think about the plan? It's perfect. Like, it's perfect. You see, you know that lady lady is poor and she can do anything to get what she wants. And she's dying to have her friend. So we got it. The only doesn't know how lucky he is. I'm telling you. The only issue we have now is that that is wicked uncle's wife. Hmm. She not just come up with one ridiculous assignment for him like that. No, 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 I, I don't think so. Because his uncle is around, so his wife cannot send um, the only unnecessary errand. So the kind of work they give him now will be reduced. He's going to have time for, for this. Oh, my God. So, uh, move. I am not happy with what happened today. Why did you address her that way? She loves you and she wants the best for you. You have to go and apologize to her. Apologize? Me? Never. Uh -uh. Never. What's I'm wrong I'm with apologizing you? She's doing everything in your interest. To be ridiculing my girls, so my friends. This is not her first time, Daddy. This is not her first time. Look, today, we don't want all those girls to distract you from your studies. Eh? Look at you. You have not passed your examinations. And you are not getting any younger. This will be the fourth time. Today, the fourth time you will reset the exams. Yet, even your, res your results are still not good. Because she cost it. She cost it. She always compares me with Deolu, whereas she is the one who hindered me from going to Lagos to stay in with Uncle. <sighs> and she told me that you were in support of the idea, but she did not allow it. Instead, I'm, I'm, at, I'm at home doing, doing nothing. She hindered my progress now. Uh -uh. Today, why don't you erase that from your mind? Eh? Mm -hmm. Your mom loves you. Eh? She loves you. Okay, agreed. I wanted you to go to Lagos. But perhaps that wasn't God's plan for you. Going to Lagos is not as important as walking right before God anywhere you are. Uh, okay, Deolu, that your Bronga brother Deolu, that is in Lagos presently. Do you know what he's going through? I am sure that you cannot cope with half of the things Deolu is passing through. But there are better teachers in Lagos now. Today, stop passing blames. Stop blaming your mommy. Why don't you grow up? Accept responsibilities. Eh? Okay, tell me. You are blaming your mommy. So your mommy was the one that pushed you to go and get a girl pregnant, Abby. She's the one that pushed you so that the girl can uh, have an abortion. You know she almost killed herself, if not for the grace of God. Have you forgotten the enormous amount of money we spent so that our parents could drop the case? Still, you have not changed. You have not changed at all. Look, look at the careless way you are handling your studies. I paid Mr. Olasukomi, the Olusa fellowship teacher, so that he could teach you, take you on extra classes. But you stopped attending the class. I had to stop now. I had to stop. The man will use half the time to preach. I told you that my father paid for lesson, not preaching, but the man will not stop. So I, 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 I had to stop the class. Wait. And I will. Ah. Today? When Tito told me that she had extra... No, no, wait, wait, yeah. today. You are telling me that you stopped attending his class because he was preaching to you. I had to stop now. Uh -uh. You paid for a lesson, not preaching. Uh -uh. And when, when, when Tito told me that uh, she had uh, extra classes, I've, already, I've, I've started already with... with, uh, with Keep quiet, Joe. Uh -uh. What are you telling me? Look, I want you to know that you cannot go far without God. Even if you are good academically eh, today, you need the grace of God to go far. Success without God leads to crisis. And that is why my desire, what I desire most, is for your ways to be right with God. Eh? Today. Why, why, why don't you surrender your life to Christ? 
so that all other things can come to shape in your life. Eh? That I don't need religion to make it in life. There are many youths out there that are making it big. And with, without religion, they're doing fine. Uh -uh. See, I know, I know, I may not be academically sound. Eh? Mm. Like, like the rest of them, but I, I trust me now, we succeed in life. Huh? Look, I, I'm not talking to you about religion. I'm talking to you about the purpose of God for your life. God wants you to fulfill purpose. God wants you to fulfill destiny. God wants his plan to come to pass in your life. God has great plans for you. Why don't you allow God into your heart, eh? Why don't you surrender your life to Christ at this very moment? Eh? So that you can turn your life to a testimony. Dad, I'm too young for that. Even mom doesn't have time for all this religious <laughs> stuff. <laughs> but you see, um, perhaps when I'm your age, probably with two wives <laughs> like you, <laughs> then I can make up that time, eh, I may now consider giving my life to Christ. <laughs> If I had the opportunity you are having now, my life wouldn't be the way it is now. I married two wives. It was a mistake. In fact, it's the greatest mistake I made in my life. But I thank God for God's mercy. I thank God for His grace. Look today, you are so dear to me. I don't want you to make that same mistake. I don't want you to fall into that error. Eh? That is why I'm appealing to you to surrender your life to Christ. Let him take over your life. He has great plans for your life. Eh? Mm. Mm. Uh, that, um, I'll try, I'll try. I'll try and do something about it. Please try, eh? Yes, try. Please try, eh? Yeah. It is well with you. Yeah. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, mm. I know you have wonderful plans concerning your son. Your plan and purpose shall come to pass in his life in Jesus' name. <sighs> Diolu. Diolu, why now? Why Diolu? After all our pleas, all our persuasions, Diolu, we begged you. All you have to do is just to honor this girl's invitation. That's all. It wasn't my fault. No, no. I had to follow my uncle to f for a function and he didn't even listen to any excuse. You had to see the way that girl reacted that day. She was so sad that her mom had to ask who Deolu is. Eh? In fact, the mom asked to see you. That girl is the only daughter among all her siblings. If you lose that girl, you will cease to be my friend. No. I'm not joking. Okay, okay, no problem. I'll, I'll, go and, I'll see and go and explain to her. No, 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 no. You won't explain to her anything. You go to her, you apologize to her, and you reassure her of your love for her. She needs it at this point. You've disappointed her. Okay, I've heard I'll, I'll see her. Have you guys checked the GC results? Ah, finally. I checked mine and it was very good. In fact, very good to become a jam bite. You guys should check your results. We you know by this time next day we have to be in university. By the grace of God. I beg you on study for Niger. Come on here, Jerry. We they talk. Guy, yeah. okay, go and do what you have to do. We'll wait for you. Hi. Hi. Lady. Lady. Lady, we need to talk. For what? I paid school since morning. You did not come, so what happened? I'm sorry, but you know I was busy with the teacher in class. Say what you want to say. Are you still angry with me? Of course I'm angry with you. I don't have any excuse. Your friends also have told you what happened at the party on Saturday. Okay, I'm very sorry. But guess what? I have good news for you. I made all my papers at the GC and I'm set to be an undergraduate any time from now. Seriously? Are you not happy for me? Won't you congratulate me? Is that why you stopped me? For me to congratulate you? I beg uh, Okay, I'm, lady, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did not come for your birthday Thanksgiving party. It was my uncle. He happened to follow him somewhere and I didn't know what to tell him. Eh, I'm sorry. Won't you congratulate? How about your results? Congratulations. But as for me, I'm leaving this country immediately after my work papers. You don't get it. I have no intention to study in this country where your precious time will be wasted. But you're not ready to listen to my plans. <sighs> what are we going to do? People like us, we don't have a choice. That is why I need to know your plan. So I don't know what to tell my dad. His plan is for me to go abroad to study. But you don't always have the time. And I don't know where you stand on this. 
Okay, okay. Do you have time now? Can we go and talk in an empty class or you talk tomorrow? I'm coming. Um, please, could you wait for me for a few minutes? I'll be back. I'm coming. Let's go. Eh, uh, lady, what were you trying to say? I didn't understand. Okay, before you say anything, I'm sorry I did not come for your baby bath, even though my heart was there, but I had a gift for you. This is my little gift for you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. And what do you know? I don't know what else you want me to do. Your friends know that I love you. I even told my mom about you and I thought to introduce you at the party. I mean, you said I need to be born again. And I've done that already. What else do you want me to do? And dad is ready to send me abroad with whoever my future husband will be. And that's why he doesn't want me to study here in Nigeria. So look, I don't know your stand on this. I, I don't know what to tell them. You've not said anything. Tiolu, say something now. Hmm. Some years ago, God showed me a dream about my future and how great my future will be. Our teacher then, um, a man of God and the fellowship, our school fellowship coordinator, then told him when I narrated the dream to him. He said, what God showed me in that dream is possible if I'm willing and determined. I there was something special about you. Diolu, my dad is ready to spend on us. And it's whoever I choose as husband to be. Diolu, accept this offer and let's start our lives together. Diolu, you know how difficult it is for me to say this to another man. Diolu, please. Like this, see, mm. I appreciate all of this, honestly. But the, uh, this is a privilege that anyone will see and be happy and grateful about. Then... But the problem is, I don't have a life of my own. I don't understand. What do you mean? He decides everything. He determines my life. He has a final say. Ooh, ooh, ooh. God. <laughs> As in God in heaven? Yes. See, lady, I am only following him with faith, hoping that he will lead me to his will for my life and make everything clear to me. So you don't have anything to say to all I've said? <sighs> lady, I have prayed. I have asked questions, but I have not said anything, even till now. You mean God? I mean, must he decide everything for you when he has given you a brain to reason and to think? Like day. He said in all of my ways, I should acknowledge him and he would direct my path. And I have been patiently waiting, but he has not said anything. So what are you going to do now? I did. I have to wait. Till when? Till he speaks. How do I know what he's going to tell you? Do you even know what he will tell you? I mean, I, I don't think I can wait. My dad wants an answer now. I need to move on. I'm sorry, I, I can't wait. I am sorry, please try understand. Like the, he hasn't said anything. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? This is a great opportunity that will turn my life around for good. Hey God, could you please speak to me now? What should I do? Please say something. I want to do your will. Should I go with like the, She's a child of God. Psalm 146. That is on her knees, brother and Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. His breath goeth forth, he returneth to his head. In that very day, his thoughts perish. Happy is he that hath the Lord God of Jacob for his help. Whose hope is in the Lord is God, which made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is therein, which keepeth truth forever. Flesh moved by the spirit, who am I? Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. His breath goed forth, he returned to his head. In that very day, his thoughts perish. Ah, God, I got it now. So I should put my trust in you, God. Thank you, God. I choose to put my trust in you. I, I am willing to be patient and wait on you to do whatever you will with my life. 
thank you, Jesus, for speaking to me. Oh, please help Lady. Please keep her and make her strong in you. Thank you, Jesus. Help me. Help me, Jesus. Help me. Help me. Help me, Lord. Help me. Your father called you severally yesterday. You did not pick your phone. What? <laughs> mm -hmm. Ronke, what is the problem? You sent us a message that you don't understand what is happening. I don't understand again. Tunde knew huh. that boy. He has told me to a loving stock in the family. To the extent that his brothers are now following his step. Mm. His behavior is affecting them more. Mm. Kilo Shegan. He does not want me to correct him. Mm. Especially if I mention the name of his stepbrother, Deulu. But why did you have to compare him with someone else? Why? Today is still in the same class. He keeps on repeating the same class. Why that small boy do? He is now in the university. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it is not ordinary, Ronke. And what have you done about it? I tried to talk to him. In fact, his father told him to go and apologize. But I'm afraid though. I'm afraid of his future. Oh my gosh, you Hey. Hey. Why did ah. you wait till now? We must look into this matter very well, no? You are too quiet about it. You are too quiet, okay? Your rival is already taking over and you are there doing nothing. I did everything. Even from the beginning, you told me that she will never have any child. But she became pregnant. In our home, Koro Koro High, she gave her to a Bansi baby boy. You can see the result now. I've been doing everything you asked me to do now. And even now, they are now very close to the woman and, my, and my, our, our husband. Mm. They are now very close, especially when they started going to this uh, SU church. They pray together. The many things they are doing together. Now. Why didn't you join them? Join you? Mama, what are you saying? I should join the SU people. I still have my life to live now. I, I don't I don't bargain for that. I don't want to be in any bondage for now. I still want to enjoy my life. How can I join them? Join to go and do what? Come on, you see a job. Who is asking you to join them? I mean, you become a fool to get what you want. Exactly. What your mother is saying is to pretend to be with them. But you know what you are doing. Mm. Oh. In fact, that is the best way to take over. That lady must leave the house for you and your sons. Mm. And your son, Tunde, will be free from her spell mm. once your husband drives her out of the house. Then you are in charge. That is the only way your son can have breakthrough in life. Or else he will serve her sons and even beg for food. Over my dead body. Ah. Then she must leave the house for you and your husband so that the house and your husband can be yours. That's what Baba Lion, our Abali said. Mm. Okay. I will do something about this. Get out of my house. Please, no. I said you should get out of my house. Get, get out. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Look, and I don't want to ever set my eyes on you again. What did I do? Now, as this is the devil, no, it's the devil as well. Hey, what are you What are you doing? <laughs> 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 Daddy, Daddy, no, oh, please. Please. I love you. I love you. The devil? Yes. You said the devil? Yes. Look, you are the devil. You are the devil disturbing my life. And I'm going to get rid of you today. Yeah, get out. Get out. Get, get, get out. Get out. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. 
It was a dream. In the name of Jesus, I cancel every demonic dream in Jesus' name. No evil dream shall manifest in my family, in my home, in my marriage in Jesus' name. No evil dream shall see the light of day in my life in Jesus' name. I was afraid when I woke up yesterday. It looked so real. We need to pray and fast about it. But why are you afraid? Eh? It can't be possible. It is a lie from the devil. It can never come to pass. And it will not in Jesus' Amen. name. But you know God can warn us through dreams. And at times, he reveals the secret of the devil. Through dreams also. We need to pray and fast for like three days. Mm, okay, um, we are going to pray. Uh, but you see, um, I'm sorry. I won't be able to fast. Uh, because I'll be traveling this morning for the contract I told you about. Uh, but since God showed you this vision, this dream, uh, it's good that you pray and fast about it. Meanwhile, I will join you in the spirit. Yeah, by God's grace. Good news, my dear. Eh, hey, what is it? Hey, Mommy Tunde joined us yesterday at the family altar before you returned from your trip. Hey. And she even said I should be calling her when I have special prayers. Amazing. You, you know, she told me the other time too that uh, she has decided to be following us to church every Sunday. Wow. Ah, God indeed answers prayers. Ah, God is wonderful. That means I can involve her in this prayer. Uh, no, no. I don't think that will be necessary. Uh, you see, since God showed you this vision, this dream alone, mm. it's better you take it to God alone. Um, don't let's involve her yet. Moreover, she's still growing up. Okay. Uh, she's not used to all these spiritual battles. Okay. So okay. it's better we don't frighten her. Okay. Uh, please, let's live out of it. You're right. So, my dear, please remember to pray for me. Definitely. And pray concerning the contract. Bye, please. I will see you. Father, arise and scatter the plans of the enemy for my life and my home in Jesus' name. Father, destroy the tokens of liars in the name of Jesus. Father, destroy the bands of wickedness and of everything. The kings of the earth set themselves and we will have to cancel together against the Lord and his anointed, saying, Boy, their bands asunder and cast their cords away from us. You that sit in heaven and allow my family and I defend my home. Father, save us in the name of Jesus. Father, scatter them, scatter their gatherings in the name of Jesus. Father, scatter them, according to your word, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. What was going on? I was expecting that you would come for Sunday service. Why didn't you come? And what's the meaning of all this? What's the meaning of this? Daddy, you can go inside. Today? What? Ah, Ma don't, don't even try it. Don't try it. Mommy, you are not entering this house today. You are not entering this house for anything. Um, Mommy, do you look? Uh, Benga, Ayo, you guys can enter inside. You can enter inside. I Daddy, know. you can come inside as well. But this room, I, I came home this morning. Daddy, you will not believe what I saw. There must be money in this house. You want me keeping this thing? Mommy keeping this, there must be, there has to be money somewhere now. <laughs> Mommy. 
me, mommy. You can lie. Okay, you say there's no money in the house. Is this not money? Is this not money? Is this not money? Don't, don't, don't even try. Daddy, mommy, do mommy, don't even try. Don't even try to come into this house because if you do, I will kill you. Ah, 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 no, 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 no. Hey, I will kill you. you won't enter to the just take it easy. See, your days in this house have expired. Go back to your father's house. Eh? I've already helped you to pack your load. Ah, mm. it's okay. Eh? This are my this are my load outside. Please, please. What is your problem? It, it, it's obvious now that. Things are abnormal. It's not the way it is. <laughs> so, you, you can't do <laughs> <don't, don't>, <laughs> yeah. Daddy, Daddy, Mommy, Deolu, Ayogwega, come inside. Yeah, but they cannot come in. That woman, she cannot come into this house. All of you can come inside. She can't come into this house. Okay. Today, eh? she's, you don't want her to enter. She's not entering. She's not, she's not entering. Who into this house? I will kill her. I will kill her. She won't enter. You want she she, you know she will go and bring the yeah. vehicle yeah. yeah. to pick her to pick the load there. Beautiful, beautiful. Hmm? Mommy, yeah. 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 I, I don't just stand there. You are standing with her. Come, me. come inside. We will set you. You need. Everything is normal. Okay, enter. She will go. She will go. It's okay. Fine. It's okay. It's fine. It's just. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. But she's not entering. She won't. She's a promise. She won't. Beautiful. No, you can come in. Come in. Come in. Don't be afraid. So sorry for this and for all the embarrassment. Just, just come in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Daddy, for the for the embarrassment. I just can't stand. I just can't stand the sight of this one. Minga, Ayo, don't go inside. Wait, 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 wait. That's what you want, Daddy. Want that today? Today. Go until everything is set. We'll ah. set you, don't worry. Eh? Don't worry, don't worry. Ah. We'll set you. Today. You will come back when everything is calm. Jesus. You are happy now. She has left Take it. Take it. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go. It won't harm you. It will not harm you. Hey, look. It is obvious that the devil is at work. Because what is happening in this family is confusion. And our God is not the author of confusion. Yes. The work of the enemy, the plan of the enemy is to scatter this family. And it will not happen in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Look, we are going to pray now. Who? Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every manifestation of the devil. We come against him, Jesus. Amen. Every plan of the teacher. Hey. Hey, Shanumi. Teacher, oh. Hey, Shanumi. Ha, Uluwa. Ha. Hey, Shanumi, oh. Teacher. Hey. Hey, Shanumi, oh. Hey, Shanumi, oh. Teacher, Uluwa. Ah, I hear me. Mama Tunde. Oh, teacher. What happened? Ah. Teacher. Mama Tunde, what is it? Teacher. Huh? I know I've sinned against God. Uh -huh. Help me beg God. Well, what happened? Help me beg God. Oh. Uh -huh. Hey, uh, uh, I, will, I will give my life to Jesus. Uh -huh. It's only that. Uh, pray, praise God then. Wait. Praise God. It's only that. But, but wait, Mama Tunde, you remember? You know, this uh -huh. is not the first time hey. you're saying this. Uh -huh. eh? Mama this Tunde, time. are you sure this time? This time. Uh -huh. That's okay. Jesus. That's okay. I'm ready to. Oh, so. praise God for that. I don't even that. know if you will forgive he me will, now. He will, he will. But he this will. has spoiled. What happened, Mama Tunde? <laughs> this uh -huh. has spoiled. Come inside. Hey, come hey, inside, Mama Tunde. Come, 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 come inside. Come inside. Come, Mama Tunde. Come, come. 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 What, hey. what have you done? Ah. Uh -huh. I am you. Hey. Jesus. What is it? Oluwa. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Mama Tunde, have you told your husband all this? <laughs> eh? I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it, ah, teacher. Ah, you, you, you have to inform him ah. because you need him to forgive you in this matter. Ah. You see, God is merciful. He is ah. not interested in the death of a sinner. 
that was why God has been calling you, really, really trying to invite you, so as to save you from this impending danger, which has eventually happened to your son. Oh, God, eh? have mercy on me. Please, Tisha, let me be God. Mm. I know I've sinned against God. Let me beg him. Mm. I'm ready to, to accept that Jesus now. Oh, we good. Accept him. Oh, good. Well, you see, God is not interested in the death of a sinner, and this is just what he's been waiting for. Oh, eh? good. Very good. Very good. But you need to tell your husband about this. I you will. need to carry him along and open up to him. Eh? It's okay, Mama, today. Good. 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 Okay. <laughs> I've heard of you, Lord. But I now see you. Ah, thank you, Lord. God thank you, Lord. Grace. Thank you. Father, please forgive me. It's okay, Mama. Today, God is my mercy ready life. to forgive. He's ready to forgive you. Forgive yeah? my mercy okay. life, Lord okay. Jesus. Okay. So look at you, those terrible things I've done. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Have mercy thank on Lord. me. Thank you, Lord. Heal my soul. Mm. Deliver my it's soul. It's okay, Mama. But this God time, say we will do everything. This time, yeah. ah, I will serve you. Oh, very good. For the rest of my life, very I will good. serve you, very Jesus. Good. Very good. I will serve Since you. Since you are sincere about this, hey, yeah. ah, can you say it? He, he will. Can he can. And he will. He's ready. With all my terrible life, hey, Mama. Today, ah, it's okay. It's okay. Mama can today, he forgive he me? Can. <laughs> and he will. He's ready to do that. He can go, sis. Let me pray with Every you now. God. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just calm down, Mama Tunde. Mama Tunde. Mama Tunde. Just calm down. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mama Tunde. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Now you repeat after me. Okay. Repeat after me. Okay. Say, Lord okay. Jesus. Lord Jesus. Oh. I am ready. I am ready. I surrender my life. I surrender. Forgive I me surrender. my sins. Forgive me. Make me a new person. Make me a new person. Come into my life. Come, come, come into my In life. Jesus oh. In name. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Uh, teacher, I have heard all you said, but I am sorry. It's too late. Yes, it's too late. She drove herself out of the house and she's not coming back. Ah. Don't care. What, what else do you want from me? You, you better go to God and ask him for forgiveness because you have succeeded in destroying the life of this boy. Mr. Ishala, you see, your wife has given her life to Jesus. Eh? Uh -huh. Who? Your wife. This woman? Yes. I don't believe it. She can never change. Look, she's an expert in deception. She has given her life several times oh. and she took it back. Uh -huh. She ended up being worse. I'm sorry. Look, so there is nothing God cannot do. Eh? You yes. see, your forgiveness is key in this matter. Yes. Eh? You need to yes. forgive your sorry. wife. Sorry. If you truly love your son, then you will do this. Oh. Eh? You will forgive sorry. her and love her back. So, um, eh? um, I, I love my son dearly. Mm -hmm. Runke was the first woman I married. Then I lived a very rough life. But she made life miserable for me. She was the one that pushed me to marry the second wife. I never intended to. Eventually, God brought you my way. You preached to me. And God showed me mercy. I received light. I tried everything possible to show the light, to make her see the light. But she refused. Now she has now allowed the devil to push her to destroy this boy. Look. I'm leaving. You know, when Mr. Ishola, Mr. Ishola, you see? Please, please, please sit down. Please, please. Oh. Mr. Ishola, please, sorry. please. Huh? You see? You said you can't, but you can. You see, you have the spirit of God, and God has given you the grace. His grace is sufficient for you. Look, if you have a will in your heart to forgive her, then you do. So that's what I'm encouraging you, uh, Brother Ishala. Please, eh? allow God's grace to manifest here. Remember, the Bible says in Matthew ch chapter, chapter 6, verse 14 and verse 15, For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will forgive your trespasses. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your heavenly Father forgive your trespasses. Eh? You need to do this. Forgiving here is very key to the deliverance of your son, yes. to the restoration of peace in your home. <laughs> hey, you need to do the needful. Oh. Hmm? Mr. Ishola, I beg you. Oh, I God. You. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. God help me. 
Thank you. And help my stone restore him, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ah! It's not easy. It's not easy, Ronke, but I forgive you. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I forgive you, in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, we command the Spirit, get out of this body now, in the name of Jesus. For God has given him a name that is above every other name. For the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus is Christ. This is the temple of the Most High. You have no business being in here, you evil spirit. I command you, live, live. No, no. I will not leave until I accomplish my mission. No, 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 wait, no, wait, Mark. And no one can send me out. It is written in the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 24 to verse 26. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Shall the lawful captive be delivered? But thus hear the Lord, even the captive of the mighty shall be delivered, and the prey of the terrible shall be taken away. For I will contend with him that contended with thee, and save thy children. Hey, and I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with blood as of wine. Hey, for I, the Lord, I am thy Redeemer, I am thy Savior, the mighty one of Jacob. You foul spirit, listen. Hey, you are hewn down, and you are cast into the fire. Go, 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 get up, get up. Go, get out of this body now. Go, go, go. Yes, go. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Daddy. Ha! <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Oh, my dear. Ha! Thank you, Lord. Today you have been delivered. Today. Today, ha! Lord, I've done it. Thank you, Jesus. Watch out. Uh, Mr. Diolu, you are the leader of this group. Yes. Please tell us, how were you able to discover those villagers at the remote place in Abuja? Um, while I was in school, I used to go on a uh, village outreach with some missionaries. We preached the word of God to them and we shared the right things. That was the first time I heard about them, but I didn't really know it was going to be a mission work for me. But no one financed you. How were you able to get the money to provide all the relief materials. We heard you fed and you clothed them. We also heard that um, you have a school where most of your children were taught and some of them could read and write now. How possible was that in just a few months of your service here as a call member? First, I must just say it was the grace of God and the help and support of my fellow call members that were interested in mission work. You know, God lived in our hearts. Um, we made ourselves available to teach and to introduce them to the Western education, the elementary form anyways. So it's indeed the work of God. And so what was the reaction of the authority when they discovered the exploit you were doing? I think I should allow one of us to respond to that. <laughs> All right, perfect. So let's have him. They were so impressed. But I do insist that we took some pictures with them and we went with those pictures and they could hardly believe hmm. until they followed us to see. And they were so happy for the, you know, great exploit. And they promised to follow it up. Amazing. That was a smart move. So congratulations to you, Mr. Thank Diolu, you. and to all of you. We would also like to say congratulations to you for the special gift by the governor and the Minister of Education. <laughs> we heard they have compensated you by promising to employ you at the federal capital. If you so desire. <laughs> we also heard, Mr. Dilu, that you were involved with the mission agency. Now, tell us, how do you intend to combine the two? Um, well, honestly, it's been a great passion in my heart to see God touch lives everywhere, especially the forgotten ones. 
but we appreciate it. I know some of us will take the employment, but definitely not all of us take it. Okay, can you shed more light into that? As we speak, the government is already taking up the school that we established, the local school that we established, when they saw the reactions of the villagers and the children. So, and I think that's actually enough encouragement for us, they asked me. Amazing! That is Mr. Deolu Ishola for you. We pray for you that the Lord will lead you all into the next phase of your life. Amen. The international agency they served with would be organizing a special event in their honor tomorrow. Representative from the different African world will be there to grace the occasion. And our television station would also be there to praise the Lord. So tell them. <laughs> 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 thank you for coming, people. Thank you very much. God, you are good. We thank you, Lord. Eventually, the dream concerning Deulu has come to pass. Ah, Father, you are wonderful. wa, my son, congratulations. Hmm. Our Lord is faithful. We all saw you when they interviewed you. Praise God. We are all so happy. Hallelujah. Thank you, my son. God is good. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, daddy. But I still want you to watch out for the ceremony tomorrow by the agency. Yes, uh, the presenter said the same thing. The exploit of the good works that we did has gotten to them. So they are coming to come and witness the ceremony tomorrow. So please make sure you watch. Of course, my son. My <laughs> we will all be watching the program. In addition to that, we are going to inform your teacher and some other church members. They have to watch the program too. <laughs> okay, that's great. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. My regards to everybody. Have a wonderful night. Happy night, first, my son. I miss you. Thank you, my dear son. Thank you very much. Actually, this. Um this program. It's not usually done in public. We usually do it privately. But because of the exploit of these young ones, we have decided to make it public to encourage other people. Well, before we go in, can you briefly tell our viewers what this agency is all about and what we're expecting today? Thank you very much. Um, you see, we are a mission agency with our headquarters in London. You see, this vision was started 20 years ago uh, when our president, oh, he has gone to be with the Lord now, God showed him this vision of raising young men and women, you know, to fulfill God's end time vision, according to the Bible. These young ones have been selected from various parts of this country in Nigeria. And according to our own custom, we usually choose a representative that will represent the region of Africa. But this time around, the person being chosen is chosen from here in Nigeria. Amazing. And so how were you able to locate these young ones? Um, actually, it's not been easy um, because, because it's God's work, God has really been helping us with a lot of prayers and sacrifice. And um, everyone in this organization is involved in this work, especially the leaders. The leaders are the ones God is using to scout for these men and women of vision. And this particular individual has worked closely with the agency and has been committed and dedicated. And of course, while he was having his youth service, the project which he did was so commendable that the reports have already got into our headquarters in London. Any word for our youth out there? Wow, my own advice for them is that they should serve God and be faithful. And as they serve God, it's going to reward them. Look at our Lord Jesus Christ. He started his earthly ministry as a young person. And look at uh, young people in the scripture that God used. People like Daniel, Esther. Even the Mary, the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, she, 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 she conceived well, at a very young age, she caught this vision. And she was honored, as some will be honored today. So, I'm going to call upon the International Vice President to introduce this particular individual. Can we appreciate the International Vice President? Thank you, Mr. Bernard. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. Kilo Shele. Abi and Nick and George Chan. I am here to. The resemblance is striking. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. he looks so much like teacher. You sure? He looks so much like him. Daddy, I thought to send someone to his house to inform him. I sent to him now. As received by our former international president. 
I was at his house. And, uh, sorry, but there were no traces of him. And this he received and but he once know. told me he has finished but his assignment. Oh, could it it's mean he was indirectly telling me that he's done here? I'm happy to announce to you that the new regional coordinator for Africa, that is for young and visionary, is from Nigeria this time. It just resembles him. That person looks too no. much like the brother chosen? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes I, I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's continue to watch closely. We will know if it's him or not. Let's keep it resembles him. To occupy this position is none other than Mr. Ishola Adeolua. I am sure you can recognize me. Congratulations and God bless you. Well, I bring you greetings from the international president. He equally sent his congratulatory message. Now, I want to quickly tell you that the international president will be organizing a get-together for all newly chosen officers from all across the universe. Meaning you will be attending the function in London. <laughs> And uh, let me quickly add equally that you've been awarded a scholarship. Yeah, that is to further your studies in any part of the world. Hey. While this is going on, your national office, as well as your accommodation here in Abuja, will be fully furnished and put in place so that when you come back, you take over everything. Once more, Mr. Adeolua, congratulations. <laughs> But I know who holds my future. No matter what is on the road, I still. I believe God knows what I'm created for He gave me a dream He gave me a vision I look up to the sky, I look